In those remote times, the fearless Saki tribes of the Great Steppe were living in the vast expanses between China and the Danube. Warriors on swift horses were recognizable by all nations, both near and far. Some people revered their martial spirit, while others admired the generous nature of the steppe residents. The Saki knew no enmity. They lived honestly and with dignity, and despite modern dogma, always preferred a peaceful life. They lived peacefully and calmly in the boundless steppe, but when hard times came, they changed their lassoes for spears and sabers, mounted horses and launched campaigns. They were furiously fearless and had not even surrendered to Alexander the Great. Time goes by, but love and faithfulness to the native land remains the main value for these warriors forever. Protection of our state borders is an important aspect of national safety. The protection of borders is the duty of every citizen of the country. Border safety is the guarantee of the safety of our nation. Therefore, the Sea Boundary Division deployed on the Caspian Sea coast carries out this duty with honor. When the Saki again faced a threat, Prince Yersak Hanzada, the Khan's son, assembled all those men who were able to hold weapons at the headquarters. Thousands of warriors equipped with weapons gathered there from all corners of the steppe. The frequent and cruel wars threatened the lives of the Saki. However, after big battles, no further bloody campaigns were arranged until the next generation grew up. Hanzada, having gathered his warriors for the campaign, was engrossed in thought about the future of his nation. Finally, following the national folk wisdom that a commoner thinks of only one day, whilst a Khan thinks about thousands of days ahead, Yersak had changed his hauberk for common clothes and started on his journey with the aim of observing his nation. Port Aktau is a strategic transport object which is located on the very large transport routes. The Aktau port is a strategic transportation terminal situated at the intersection of the great transport routes, including the Trasika route, the modern version of the Great Silk Road beginning in China, crossing Kazakhstan and reaching beyond into Europe. This also includes the north-south corridor that connects the Baltic and the countries of northern Europe with Kazakhstan and the Persian Gulf states. With the growth of transportation via these routes, the volume of cargo and corresponding services that we offer will naturally increase. At present, the port offers services to national companies as well as to those neighboring states that use our port as a transit point. This is especially important with the expected accession of Kazakhstan to the WTO. Yersak rode the steppe on his horse for a day and reached a remote village. Life here seemed to be measured and calm that day, but what would happen tomorrow? Only women and children were staying at the village, and Hanzada decided to race through at full gallop. On the outskirts, a teenager was playing, and when he saw the rider, he rushed to his house. What can I expect from such a generation, Yersak agreed. However, the teenager appeared again with his father's sabre and dashed to the stranger. At that time, Yersak did not know that this youth would later become Shirak Batir, who would bravely defend his motherland. Indeed, his legendary feats are still glorified by people.
Right now, information is very necessary for us. In all civilized countries, it is not only the economy but also information technology that is well developed. In order for our state of Kazakhstan to join such prosperous countries, highly educated and qualified specialists need to be engaged in information systems. With this knowledge, I have chosen this profession and I'm studying towards it now. Kazakhstan has a bright future and that future depends on us. Yersak Hanzada was galloping day and night without rest until he reached the next village. He dismounted near the last house and greeted the hosts. The Saki always believed that guests are envoys of God and were famous for their hospitality. They cordially welcomed people and treated them to everything that they had at home. They were ready even to slaughter their last sheep for a guest. Yersak was glad to see such behavior from his hosts, who observed the national traditions despite hard times. With this, he continued his journey. Our region is the only one in the Republic which is engaged in cotton growing. In essence, cotton growing is a very labor-intensive process, and in this respect, the attention that the state pays to us, I mean the policy for the enlargement of farms which is taking place in our country, and the passing of laws concerning the cotton industry, makes us more attractive to investors. With money comes the ability to take mortgages on property, and we can receive lease equipment. All this taken together allows us to take advantage of all the available agricultural technology to the fullest extent. All of this ultimately leads to rich harvests and rich harvests give us confidence. During the long journey, the young Hanzada witnessed many events. Yersak bowed to the young moon and uttered the words of good fortune. I saw the moon and I saw welfare. Old moon support me and young moon bless me. Our ancestors, the nomads, behaved like this. Along with that, the Saki had a wonderful ability to foretell events based on certain natural phenomena. Compared to the Altai Mountains, the climate of flora and fauna in the Zailiski Alatau in the Almaty region, at an altitude of 2,000 meters above sea level, is very similar. That's why marils were bred here. Two preparations for the curative purposes of our population have been invented. Formerly, people in the east used to take a horn bath during the month of slaughter, while here today they can have such a bath any time during the year thanks to our new technology. Within this period we have created a strong marrow farm and we hope to create the proper conditions for the enhancement of our population's health at our clinic. The long journey had led Yersak to a lonely smithy on the steppe. It turned out that the blacksmith who worked here had been forging weapons all his life and therefore knew all the secrets of his trade. The blacksmith highlighted not only the characteristics of a weapon in a battle, but also its appearance. Archaeologists still often find swords, sabers and spears of different styles, some decorated with images of animals. The Saki masters were well known for such ornaments, and such discoveries are of high value. Our history is full of achievements. We have rich traditions. Kazakhstan is my golden cradle, my motherland, a great country of friendship and equality. If we look through the whole of the history of the Kazakh nation, the unity of nations has always been the main priority, the first item on the agenda. For this reason, if we don't preserve unity, we will achieve nothing, of course. 
we would never achieve greatness. Valuable and serious work on the preservation of our cultural heritage has been carried out since the time when the country gained independence. For the sake of our future, history plays a very important role in the education of the young in the spirit of patriotism. I think this work should be continued within the broader scope of cultural heritage. Currently our Kazakhstan is moving forward confidently, aiming to occupy a worthy place among civilized countries. Having toured the expanses of his native steppe, the Hanzada reached a forest. While Yersak was drinking water from a spring, he was about to be surprised. The Saki not only used to pamper their daughters, but also trained them for the art of war. The legendary queens Zarina and Tomiris became famous not only for being such wise rulers, but also as skilled military leaders. Yasak reaches one more village without stopping. He hurries to greet the elder of the village but experiences an unpleasant episode. According to Saki custom, a youngster is not allowed to cross the path of an elder. The older person was not going to bear such disrespect and snapped up his sabre from its sheath and squared up for the fight. However, the older man felt that this fight would only result in a sad conclusion and stopped them, saying, If you want your nation to be safe always, never fight with each other. Don't shed each other's blood without a good reason. Don't give away secrets to an enemy. And don't suffer injustice. Astana is developing and prospering every day. The prosperity of the capital also means the prosperity of our country. I am a construction worker by profession and I have been working in this industry for 25 years. During the last five or six years we have mastered much that is new. We have mastered new techniques in construction. Now you can see a big and beautiful city being built on the Kazakh land in the very heart of our country. I am proud of making my own personal contribution to this important project as a construction worker. The future of Astana is the future of our country and our people. This brief journey made the young Yersak think a great deal. He decided that a nation that respects old people, values its daughters, and preserves the traditions of its ancestors must live forever. Yersak saw a lot during his journey and returned to his headquarters with a feeling of gladness and pride for his nation. Soon he began a military campaign leading a large army. Many centuries have passed since that time, but the customs, traditions and spiritual wealth of the Saki nation have still not lost their importance. This means that today's descendants of the fearless Saki, the Kazakhs, will also never forget their roots. The independence monument is crowned by the image of a free warrior in a golden halberd. Kazakhstan, a country which has chosen freedom and peace, is trying to join the ranks of the most developed countries of the world. History continues. <laughs>